This is your writer, Anthony L. Kelly, right here. Check it out. These are my books. Mac, Jaja, book, Sunshine. And this is my first book published, Saving Miss Carolina. And this is my latest, El Manic. Uh, go check this book out, man. This is a nod at hip hop on its 50th anniversary. This is uh, a nod to one of the illest MCs to ever do it, Nasir Jones. And this is me shedding the light on uh, mental illness. Uh, I'll leave all the, the links in the description box. Salute to everybody who's ever supported me, man. Y'all go support you. All right, if anybody here is fans of The Breakfast Club, you probably know this individual. He goes by the name of Cesar Pena, and he's pretty much a real estate mogul. Um, we actually interviewed him recently, and I actually bought his book, a real good read. But if you ever went to one of the DJ Envy's seminars, right, and if you ever seen any DJ Envy's videos online, he works side by side with DJ Envy, promoting pretty much, you know, fixing and flip houses, buying things wholesale. So at one point, you know, or another, they partnered up or appeared to be partnered up, you know, to, you know, not only show you about houses, but also to show you, you know, about the real estate business and they did it by way of seminar now we went to one of these seminars in Atlantic City New Jersey a wealth of information well one of the individuals that was at the seminar because DJ Envy had a bankers he had um, real estate guys he had himself and he had a credit guy and he actually goes by the name of credit dude now he is pretty much claiming that he was beat out of a deal by Caesar Pena so I'm gonna play what he said and I'll be back on the back end I'm, with my thoughts lumped in with Caesar I'm a victim of Caesar, and so are many other people. 100%, I feel Envy did not have anything to do with this shit. Because I told Envy, and Envy did try to get my money back. Envy did sell my cars. I had to sell her truck. I had to sell everything. You know what I mean? And that's what people do to make it in. I didn't tell my employees, sorry, man, can't make payroll. See you later. Payroll might have been like a week or two late sometimes. I said, Envy's one of the only guys. Uh, shout out to MG2, because he, 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 he always checked in on me and shit like that. You know what I mean? But other than that, bro... Who has said about? something to you that, that's trying to challenge you telling your story? I can, I can fucking say a list, bro. And Let, I think those hear, people... Let, don't really let's hear, let's hear a few. Those, for me, those people don't really matter because I feel like those are the people that... Those, those are the people that, for me, don't... My, my quarrel and my shit is with, with Caesar. You know what I mean? That My shit is with him. Everybody else... For me, don't... For me don't really fucking matter because they don't have the problems I have. They don't have the fucking issues that I have. I want to tell you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, bro, because I, I know I know what you were feeling. Um, and I know the stages that you go through when you make these type of uh, uh, decisions to be honest and tell your story. I know what you go through with the, the loss and feeling like you got a scam. Um, and, and and we talked offline, so I know more. I know more more in detail, even what you deal with. You know more than that. So, mad respect for you just being honest and sharing your story, man. I think the reality is, you know, and, and I said this in the beginning. I never said that DJ Envy uh, took a dollar from anybody. I don't think he took a dollar, but he's also very very um, responsible in this in this shit because he he gave Caesar the platform. Um, he knows that there's things that are off, and he still hasn't did anything to try to make sure that it continue to happen. Uh, and I'm sure there's been financial gain that he's got from some capacity from his dealings with season. I mean, they do live events together. They do, you know, plenty of shit. So, yeah. um, I think from the events, maybe, from the events, maybe, like I said, I don't know that whole side. But but from, like, from what I know, um, I, can, I can bet, you know, I can bet everything that that's why. I also wanted to come on here too because I know Envy was on here before, but I, I don't feel that Envy knew anything about what Caesar was doing with that shady shit he was doing because when we went to the seminars, you know what I mean? Um, we all had our individual time. We spoke and we did, um, and and it's kind of like whatever what everybody else does behind closed doors is on them. You know what I mean? And 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 that's why I feel like Envy didn't have anything to do with that shit. And it's fucked up. You know that's why I said it's kind of fucked up. Not to you. I'm just saying it's fucked up that. When people even say like, "Oh, is it Envy?" It's like, "No, nah, it's not Envy. Envy's solid. Envy's Envy straight. Envy straight up." You know what I mean? Whether it's a text, "Hey, how you doing? How's your mental?" Whatever the case is, but I, I don't. You know, at the end of the day, he probably got bamboozled from season two. You know what I mean? And and it sucks. You know what I mean? A lot of people. This guy knows how to talk. This guy I knows was, how to fucking. 
I was really vibing with 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 some of it, but like I, I still didn't like how he was dismissive to the fact that like he didn't know what was going on and that he he had yeah. also lost money. Like, bro, if you lost money and you sitting here trying to put on this position, like you don't know what's going on and all that. Yeah. You're misleading people. Like the yeah. reality is that y'all been knowing this shit for a long time. This, this shit didn't come up this week. See, a lot of people think that this shit just started today. How long have you been dealing with this? Okay. Last last September. Last August, September. And I made a post about it on Instagram. I made a post about it on social media. And I said, I'm not fucking with this dude no more or his platform or anything. And got told that out of control or whatever the case is. At the end of the day, bro, I want to fix credit, bro. That's all I want to fucking do. Let me fix credit. And that's it. You know what I mean? That's all, that's all I want to fucking do, bro, is just, is, is just provide a lifestyle or help other people provide a lifestyle for themselves through credit. That's, that's all I do. That's all I want to do, man, is just fix credit and that's it. And if people want to sit here and say that me coming on here or me saying stuff to you is, is out of whack, out of control, why don't you, why don't those same people telling me shit, why don't those same people have that same energy for the people that rip me off or say shit about me? Because they won't. They won't. They won't. They won't. They won't confront them. You know what I mean? They won't do it. But I got nothing to hide, bro. I got nothing to hide. Well, if I fuck up, I fuck up. If I, if I, if I, you know, sometimes my wife, my wife makes fun of me because sometimes I tell her myself. You know what I mean? And it is what it is, bro. Like, if I fucked up, I fucked up. And I just want people, if you owe people money, fucking pay them. That's it. Pay them the fucking money. And if you don't fucking got it, then why should you be living in a fucking house? Like, like, like when I, when I didn't have a fucking car, bro, you think, you, you know, I sold everything. You, you, how would I feel? If I'm fucking driving around in a Rolls Royce, but I can't make payroll, what the fuck does that look like? You understand what I'm saying? Sold it. No problem. Got rid of it. Shit, almost, actually, my other, and then my other fucking car, the, the Escalade, that shit, because I was still feeling the wrath of it, that shit almost got repoed in fucking what, December? My wife didn't even fucking know. You know what I mean? My, my, my shit almost, but finally in fucking January, you want to know how I bounced back, bro? Wanna know, you want to know how I bounced back from all this shit? Yeah, how? Was it him? So, you know what, this is very unfortunate because, um, you know, Senior Caesar is a great guy. Like I said, we interviewed him, went to a seminar, paid money to go there, and was really digging, you know, what he's doing now. Always the type of person that wants to hear all sides of the story. So I'm not condemning anyone at this point. As a matter of fact, I think that this will be handled, you know, more so in an amicable fashion. But nevertheless, his claim is his claim, right? And I can remember going to the seminar and seeing all of these guys together, envy him and thinking they was, you know, I was going to say thick as these, but, you know, <laughs> tight, all real tight together. They had a smooth operation. Thousands of people came out and they were giving some of what I thought was good information. I still think it's actually great, you know, information on jumping in, you know, to real estate. I don't agree with the, look, the no cash and no credit. I think that's scamish because I just got my reasons behind that. You're going to need some cash. You're going to need some credit. I mean, you know what I mean, but um, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, all right, you know, what's going to happen behind the scenes here, right? And I, I'm starting to see this, and I, I've, you know, a lot of people don't know my history, but I've been, you know, pretty much, you know, calling out scammers for a long time, and I see that most of the time it's people really, and I'm not calling him a scammer. I'm not. I don't know if Caesar's a scammer. You know, I'm just presenting this information and presenting the information, you know, in a way that I do it, right? I'm not calling him anything, you know, but I see that anything anybody can get their hands on, if they can sell you the information on how to get it, even if they're not getting it, as long as they sell you, sell you the information on how to obtain something, they're going to get you hook, line, and sinker. If I sit up here and make a video and say, look, man, I got the keys to the stock market. Pay me $20,000 and I guarantee you I will make you Ten to fifteen thousand dollars per month in income if you if you follow my method. You got stuff out there, you know, um, common in the health industry, common in every industry. But this sometimes you got common as well in the real estate industry. Guys selling properties they don't own. I've seen that. You know, somebody said, "Look, we got this twenty thousand dollar property over here. Go to dun -dun -dun, drop this on it, or give me the whole twenty, and I'll send you the information over." They never send it. You try to get them, they flee, they run. I've seen this throughout the years that's why you have to be careful you have to actually vet businesses and you have to just go with your tuition at the end of the day man but one thing that inspired me though because i'm not gonna get too deep into you know um 
and the platform's open. If Caesar wants to come back on, or this other brother, or these brothers want to come on and talk about it, it's open. We allow all sides on here. We're not, you know, um, partial to anyone, right? Um, you know, I just feel like, you know, it's one of those things where, yes, things do happen in business, right? Bad things happen in business. You know, sometimes you overlook stuff. Sometimes stuff is late. But what inspired me is listening to the credit dude, you know, kind of talking about his struggles because, see, everybody's not cut out to be an entrepreneur, right? And I'm not, there's not no diss to a regular worker or anything. There's no diss. You know, some people just want the stability and the comfort of going to the job, getting paid a certain amount, doing this and going home. See, for me, as an entrepreneur, I'm never off the clock. So it's rarely, I can rarely ever just sit back and relax and say, I'm done for the day. No, I'm always doing this. Something's always going on because I have to feed this machine. I got to bust my ass for myself, my family, and my employees. You know, and my legacy at the end of the day. So I, hearing his story and kind of how the struggles that he went through, man, really kind of inspired me. Like, yo, all right, he ain't the only one. Like, it's, he driving a Rolls Royce and this, that, and the third. And, you know, internet is a perception. But it's like, yeah, entrepreneurship is a struggle. Sometimes you're going to be low. Sometimes you're going to be up. Sometimes the payroll going to come. Like, where am I going to get this from? I mean, you got to do what you got to do. I salute him 100%. You know, I don't know his real name, but I call him the credit dude. I salute him 100%, you know, for what he did and telling the story. And we would love to hear the other side, obviously, of the story. Maybe something was overlooked. But to me, it's like, I look at it like this. You guys were that close doing business together, and it has to make it to the Internet. It's got to be something there, right? That's the way I look at it. But, again, I'm not blaming nobody. But it's your brother, Oh, I'm in Hip Hop News on Center. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, share the video. Like the video. And our website is hiphopyoin.com. Please check it out. I got something special for y'all coming real soon. Y'all gonna love. Peace.